Uh, time for some cookery now. Michaela's with us in the kitchen. Yay! So nice to see you, Michaela. Thanks, guys. What are you doing about this? Well, I love this recipe, OK? It's pretty much five ingredients, but it's a showstopper. It and really is. My mum gets asked to make this every Christmas, and it starts with one of these lovely panettone. Now, you've got pan... I don't know if you know the difference, panettone and pandoro. So, panettone is the one with the candied fruit. Yeah. Pandoro is the plain one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and the f this is like known for Christmas because it's meant to reflect abundance and happiness. I love Ooh. a panettone. Yeah. Well, a lot of people will say they love it, but it's like so much. And so what's great about this is we'll always have one on Christmas Day, but there's always leftovers and bread and butter pudding. Nice. And is this how this recipe came about? Was it the fact that you had so much yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, bread and butter pudding traditionally made with bread. But so what I would say is you can do this recipe with yeah. any sort of sweet bread. So croissant. Um, even kind of a toasted tea cake, yep. something which has got that almost natural sweetness. And look, is, it is... And does that mean you don't have to add any sugar? Yeah, well, you do put a bit of sugar little in, bit. but it's very little if yeah. you think about the quantity. Would you like mm. some cream? But it's also, the bread doesn't have to no. be completely fresh. That's the other thing. Should it even be completely fresh? Mm. Well, I mean, to be honest, I would eat it fresh and then with the leftover make this, because yeah. in the oven it softens. And all I'm doing, a bit like a loaf of bread, slicing it into wedges. So and it, what I love about it is the simplicity. People will go, oh, I don't want to spend ages in the kitchen. But here we go, we're going to butter it. If you want a lighter version, you don't have to, because obviously croissants, these are made with quite a lot of butter anyway. But, you know, it's Christmas. Kelly, you know when me and Alison enjoy a dish when... I know, I know it's going to go down well <laughs> when, when Alison has a bite and then off camera she looks at me and just goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> It is delicious. It's that is really so nice, nice Michaela. Kiyapa. Really, really nice. Really smooth. Really creamy. It's what? delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, and and, and mm. I have to say, I think everyone this morning I've met and I've told them what I'm doing, they go, oh, something that you can do with a leftover panettone. We always get given one at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And if I'm if I'm really honest, I'm not the biggest fan of just a fresh panettone, mm -hmm. but I love this recipe. So you know, all like. like you just lay... So I've buttered my baking dish. Yeah. And I'm just now layering up. Every time you come on, I think everything you say is always a betrayal of the Italian people. Like, I imagine you get home and your mum goes, what did you say on television yeah, Oh, for sure. Because you always go, yeah, I do like this, but if you just stick the risotto in the microwave... Well, I got one I'm, coming I'm just up. just always imagine your mum going, <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Ow. But do you know what? What Italian have you met that doesn't have an opinion? <laughs> I mean, no, no joke. Even within my little village it's in true. Italy, my nonna would make, like, a torta di patate and her, her sister-in-law next door would come in and be like, I can't <laughs> believe really? you've just dusted your surface with semolina, not polint. I mean, the detail yeah, yeah. that they would think is scandalous is quite hilarious. So, now we're going to top... So, there you go, look. Quite simply, get yep. the kids to do that bit. Yeah. I've got in here six eggs and about 700 ml of milk. Now, this is where the scandal's going to happen now, because... Oh, go on. Because um, I'm not going to sieve this. And you don't really <laughs> need to whisk it. You just so This is about... Look, it's not much sugar for the whole yeah. recipe, about 70 grams. Just bang it in. Cut bang to the mother right now. Go like this. <laughs> 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 you just need to combine this. And now, my mum and my nonna would sieve this, OK? The thing is, it's just quick and easy. People just want to get on I'd with it. I do love it. it. I love it easy. Yeah, this why? brilliant. But look. Why mess around? No. Done. Lovely colour in that. Look at those Isn't eggs. it gorgeous? It's combined. It's amazing. So, mum would sieve it because she'll say, you know, there's, like, little, like, the kind of jelly bits of the egg. Yeah. I'm you like... But it should be right, because I'm a big fan of Mrs Kiat. <laughs> <laughs> if she'd like to come on, we'd love to have <laughs> as a guest. To show us how to make real Italian cooking. So look, <laughs> so pour it custard. on. Look at that. There oh, it is. Okay. And that is, I mean, why? And that is it. It's the, but that most Italian recipes are pimple simple, and yeah. you know that is the joy of why Italian cooking is so popular. Oh, I just love this dish. Bread and butter pudding is one of my favourite comfort foods it's ever. Glorious, I isn't absolutely it? love it. The only problem is you have one little taste, and then you want the whole lot. Oh, yeah. Why it's not? It's Christmas. It. Yeah. So this is going to now go in a bain marie. Now people yeah. get very scared about bain marie and they go, "Oh my goodness, oh my goodness." What it means is that's going to sit in a pool, a bath of water, quite yeah. literally. 
Reason being is you want an even temperature and because you don't want it to turn to scrambled eggs. Right. And that's it. That's the only reason. I didn't know that. Yeah. Does that, does that steam it as, as it Well, yeah, it gives it like a, a soft, gentle, even temperature all around. That's the main reason. Now, the trick here is now, is I'm going to put this in the oven like this. Bear with me now. Because a lot of people would tip the boiling water in there. And then you like go into the <laughs> oven and you've got like health and safety all over. Put it in your oven, that's at 160, and then oh, that's a good little tip. Pour your mm, water I in. Like it. Makes sense, doesn't it? So that needs to be about halfway up the dish. And then you just struggle when it's coming out. <laughs> well, or you just lift it out and leave the water in and cool it down. <laughs> but yeah. So that's it. And that has been five five ingredients. Now I am going to show you. This is what it's like when it comes out. Oh, it looks lovely. Okay. Look at that. Now, if you want a little oh. bit of just that extra, mm. we love it. I've got here. I'm you heat really up a little bit of either apricot jam yeah. or marmalade. Mum would add a splash of amaretto or like cognac. I love that one. If you want, but again, that's just the extra that. kind of. Can you and... bring your mum next time you come? Oh, bring my mum. Oh, go on. Let my mum just die. So, what, you just like rub just it down. Taste it on. Leave it cool a little nice. bit. But just this, this is that little is bit that extra. It's a paintbrush. It is a paintbrush. <laughs> and McKenna, the kitchen. You don't need to put that under the grill or anything. Let's just, let's just put it over like that and that's it. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, wonder. just like that. And then just dust it with a little bit of ice and sugar at the end. With and I guess my... paintbrush? <laughs> <laughs> with your paintbrush. That's the size of it. Michaela, have you spent any Christmases in Italy, actually? Yeah. Christmas Day? We... Oh, it... no, never Christmas. Never no. Christmas Day. Oh, and what's an Italian Christmas like? What do you normally <sighs> cook and what do you... What... what don't we cook? Yeah. Um, so my dad will swear he won't have Christmas without Annolini and Brodo, which I made like which Holly said she's making this Christmas. Oh wow! It's the it's, bra it's like braised beef with parmesan um, mm. in a little pasta parcel mm -hmm. cooked in a chicken broth. Nice. Yeah. So you've got to make the filling, you've got to make the pasta, you've then got to make the broth. But then what did you have as what you have? We as go English country? turkey, you turkey do, yeah. crown. And what yeah. about in, in Italy? What do they normally? Mainly beef, actually, like a stracotto yeah. they would have. But, um, and then do you do 24th or 25th as, as the 25th. main celebration? I mean, I think we're just a bit Welsh and, yeah, yeah. you know, a bit of like, we do a proper mix, but... What about, what about in Italy? Do they do 24th or 25th? 24th, the yeah. 24th is quite big in Italy, yeah. Yeah. Same in Norway. So there we Welsh. go. And I'm just going like to finish that off 24th. with a little sprinkling of snow, like ice and sugar. My question for you, OK, mm. is cream or ice cream? Ice cream every time. Me too. Well, Hot like and cold. I like a little bit of both. Oh, then, right. Of course, cream of course you would do it. It kind of gets in. And, oh, it's man. got to be boiling hot, though. But I think and then ice cream. Boiling hot and ice cream, I agree yeah, with you. Cream, Nothing though. better. Look at I that bit it. of snow. Thanks, Michaela. Thanks, Pleasure. Michaela. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Now, for all details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our chef, download the free This Morning app.